Hello, bleepers, how the devil are you? Okay then, so today we're gonna to go for a quick hunt and I just want to kind of explain the process of grid referencing to you, or at least psychological grid referencing, that being, I'll explain it in a second. This piece of pasture I did in a previous video, um, but I didn't do use this particular process that I'm gonna show you now. Um, I just wandered around willy-nilly hoping for the best. So a lot of this, take just keep in your mind that a lot of this I've done, I've already hit about three hours on it. Anyway, let's move forward. Well, so what I'm gonna do with this bit of pasture is, is I'm gonna kind of like psychologically grid it. And what I mean by psychologically gridding is me, I mean, I, I'm gonna detect lines up, down, up, down. Psychologically, I mean in the sense of, I'm not gonna be able to keep amazingly straight. Um, I could use ropes or flags, but I don't know. I think it's easier to take um, something mental like that post there, there's posts all the way along here, and then use them as a psychological reference, as a grid reference. And then I'll move up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then I'll probably go crossways. I've done, my, I've done a little test um, and we've got an old maps. We've got a pathway that comes up here, but around about there, it begins to move here until it comes to a sty, which is there. Uh, and then it goes into another bit of pasture over the other side. So I've kind of preliminary looked at the pathway, but doing this grid reference means I'm not gonna miss anything in this, which is the hot spot where people have walked in the past. Right, let's give that a go. Hey look, so this is perfect, right? So we've got this fence that goes all the way along, adjacent to where I'm detecting. So, I hope you can hear the wind is kicking up. In between these two posts is about, more van, a metal detector swing. So I can move central to each one of these. Well, central on the post, central on the post, central on the post, all the way up, and I'm not gonna miss anything. And an ironic twist of fate concerning using fences as reference posts. The first find is best fencing. It's a sign. And as I'm being so thorough, I'm gonna be picking up this as well, there was a grunt there, typically. Yeah, I wouldn't dig that. Good tight signal, big iron comes up on any metal detector, it comes up really well. Uh, but I was warned, but I thought I'm gonna go for it because I don't want to miss anything. So we're nearly at the end of our, if you can see the fence post there, that's our first trip alongside the bush. A lot of dodgy signals because we have uh, the fence post as well, the barbed wire. I'm not too sure what that is. This side, I'd say hot rock. This side, not so sure. Hmm. And we're on the up axes now. A bit of old shrapnel there. That's where we are. Oof, right there is where we're heading to. Ah, so my initial thoughts on that was another blooming hot rock. But no, look, there's some sort of weird clasp on the side of that. Is that some sort of badge? I think it's uh, it's a possibility, isn't it? I think it is. It's just so degraded and defunct of a soul that it's uh, it's prime time has long gone. I'll give it a clean up anyway and report back on uh, bite-sized bleeps on that one. I reckon. Oh, you fool! Just saw the glint of gold there. It was like that poking through. It's a ring pull. You, the tricks that are played on my face, hmm? Disgusting. So we're at the top again. Uh, I think that's a button actually. I'm not too sure. It looks like it could have been an old coin. And uh, it's notorious. I remember, doing, I've done a recce on this field. Definitely notorious for ripping up um, coins in the old fertilizer. Don't think there's anything off of that, I'm afraid, but it is a coin. A uh, tatty old horse harnessy thing, I reckon, right next to it. Oh, there you go, it's a nice old buckle. Quite oh, a beauty. 
because I think that there's some sort of looks like a little face or something. Let's clean this one up. Oh wow, look at that. It's gold gilding on it. I think it's a lion's head maybe. Not too sure. Oh, that is a beauty. Oh, these gloves are gone already, haven't they? Look. Full. Oh, no, yeah, very happy with that. That is cool. That is cool. Now, one problem with the grid referencing, uh, that was deep, by the way, is that you're not going to miss anything. So in not missing anything, you dig everything. In digging everything, you're going to find that you're going to have a lot more rubbish. But if you're on a prolific field, which is good, which doesn't have rubbish, then... It's a really good system, and at least I know at the moment I'm not missing anything. Okay, and we do have a coin or button situation right there. I believe it is a button. Oh no, it might be a coin. Oh, hello. It is, but like the others that have come off of this piece of land, it's um, devoid of any features, unfortunately. Again, it's the uh, fertiliser that does that. And you go to different parts of the country, that would... Uh, Unfortunately, come up really, really well. I'll give it a quick clean up anyway. No, but that is an old coin. Oh, that is old, that is. Nothing on it. But yeah, that's an old one. It really is. It's a good sign. It's a really good sign. That is one of those little lead balls again. I don't think it's musket. I think it's um, fishing. Fishing weights, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Good Lord, man. What tricks are these? <laughs> Good lord. Big old chunk of metal that is. Bit of a pot or something, or a cup or something. Circular. No idea. There you go, extremely ye oldy button there. Small target down at some depth. I was convinced that was going to be something good. Perfect signal. Modern 20p. Oh, this game can be cruel sometimes, can't it? Hey, eh? <laughs> hey, look at that. That is an absolute beauty. I love it when I always like, I like finding anything, but good buckles when they come up really do put a smile on my face. That is a little peach, isn't it? One sec. Yeah, that's a little cutie, that is. Very happy with that. Very happy indeed. Cool, fantastic. Ah, just an old bit of lead. Dead lead. Okay, I won't be finding that again, that's good. I thought that looked fibula-esque then. I don't think it is, though. I think it's too modern. Strange thing though, isn't it? No idea what it is. Pretty much on the surface as well, so I wouldn't expect a fibula to be that high up on a bit of pasture, well you don't know do you? It could have been turned and left and no it's not. No idea what it is though. Okay then, so the list is done. It's 10 people on the list. As you know, um, <coughs> I mentioned it in that other video, it's propagating, people are getting lots and lots of subscribers, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm quite proud of myself because I've helped out the community and helped out those 10 people on the list. Um, what we do is we're gonna leave it there now, let it sold, just stop being a full soul. Um, we'll just leave it there now, let it like Google spiders pick it up some more and you'll continue to get subscribers. And then what we'll do is well, I'm gonna probably lay off it and then add another 10 in the near future. But until then, we've got our last people, people to add to this, which is Dirt Diggers UK, which is of course, Scott and Kimmy. Hello, Scott and Kimmy. Um, these two guys are, there's a link to their channel below. Metal detectorists, obviously. Good people, really supported out my channel. Um, always really positive and um, sincerely like them. Haven't met them yet, will do in the future. They do um, giveaways and also just really entertaining content, really well made entertaining content. Always find some um, good items as well. Uh, the banter between them is fantastic. Uh, Scott is uh, America, I believe you're America, Scott. Oh, that's a really thick Irish accent. And Kimmy is Irish. Just a good couple of people who are helping out the community and make good metal detecting videos, who are prolific at making metal detecting videos and thus should be supported. So they are the 10th in the list and link to their channel is below. Thank you, you two. I sincerely appreciate it. Now what's that, an old plug of some sort? Or a 
four on clock? No, it's not. It's got three pins, so it did have three pins, I think. Uh, no idea what one of them is. And an old 303 there. Might be able to get a date and maker's mark off of that one, I reckon. At the bottom, if you're intrigued. Maybe, not entirely sure. It's always interesting to see where they come from. Oh, hello. We have a Britannia. Good day to you, Mum. Situation right there. Isn't she lovely? Sitting on her chair. It seems it seems to kind of undervalue it. Chair. Throne. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. And here we have on the other side. I do believe that says Edward. Hey, this is it. Look at the patina on that. That's a real dark green, isn't it? Hey, a really dark green. I don't think I've seen a dark green that dark before. And the date we have on it is 190, just checking, seven. Little bit of bronze disease there, we can get that off. Man, that's so green, it's such a deep green. Very happy, good. Well, it has seen better days, but it is a thimble. That's a shame, isn't it? I like these when they still come up whole. This gives me a warm feeling in my belly. Ah, shame. Right, well, okay, it's another coin. It's another moderner, unfortunately. It's not 20p though, I'm happy. Ah, I'm not missing anything, which is good. It's another modern coin. A pound coin in this instance. And uh, you can still take these to the bank, by the way. That still hasn't timed out of 2019 August. Uh, you can't spend them in shops, but you can still give them to your bank, which is good. All right, so that wasn't exciting finds-wise, really. Nice buckle. Um, nice couple of buckles, actually. They were, they were quite nice. What's that in the background? Oh, it's, I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> that's the way the cookie crumbles. I just kind of want to get across the point of like grid referencing, or at least, like, again, psychologically grid referencing, because I've done about a third of that, of that bit of pasture now. Uh, which isn't much at all. The amount of rubbish that I found is just, I mean, the, the rubbish to good finds ratio is, is, is massive. I've got a bag full of it, it's on my shoulder, which is a really good sign. I know that you don't think that it is a good sign, but you have gotta be willing to go through that stuff. You have gotta be willing to fight that stuff and get it out of the way to be able to get to the good finds. Uh, and grid referencing like that means that you're not going to miss anything and unfortunately that also means that you're not going to miss the rubbish either. It is the better option rather than just kind of like wandering around willy-nilly because you miss so much. So again, not great on the finds front, but at least, at least I know that that bit's done for now. We always hear these, we always hear this kind of like slogan that a field is never done. Typically that's true. If we were to grid reference on a ploughed field, then that will change the next year because the plough will go over it and turn it back again. Pasture's slightly different because it stays as it is consistently. Um, but then again, if I was to do this field, if I was to grid reference that part again, that third of the field again, after a rain, I guarantee you there'll be even more fines. So, you know, it's just trying to kind of like statistically break things down statistically so uh, the maths goes in your favour. Anyway, my friends, thank you for watching. I shall see you in the next video.